Let's get straight to exclusive pictures of the damage caused by an inmate who tried to escape from the Orange County Jail. It happened over the weekend. And if you look closely, you can see the hole where career criminal Chadwin McMillan partially fell through. He had hidden in the ceiling for about 40 minutes before being captured. Good evening, everybody. I'm Jordan Williams and I'm Brenda Matuti. Tonight, McMillan is facing an additional felony charge for trying to escape. 12 News reporter Kayla Chote got to see the damage up close. Kayla, what did you see? It was all hands on deck Sunday inside and outside of the Orange County Jail. Around three authorities were alerted to an attempted escape by an inmate named Chadwick McMillan. Sheriff Jimmy Lane Mooney tells me it all started inside of the chaplain's office. A number of inmates and uh, they were doing a church service in there. And then uh, when they got ready to leave, uh, Mr. McMillan kind of slipped into a corner. Investigators believe he climbed onto the wooden box used for baptisms where he pushed his way into the ceiling. At one point, his feet came crashing through the ceiling, leaving some damage behind. The entire jail was put on lockdown. We locked down the facility. We shut all the doors. Uh, we set up a perimeter on the outside as well as on the inside of the, uh, the building. Uh, we search all the offices inside the facility as well. After 40 minutes of hiding in the ceiling, correction officers were able to get McMillan back in custody. We actually had correctional officers uh, up in the ceiling tile with the inmate. Uh, and we were able to go hands on with him and get him out of there. And we took him out of a, uh, uh, a pipe chase uh, where all the pipes are located. Sheriff Mooney says he knew McMillan wasn't going to get far. If somebody does get up into the ceiling tile or up into the uh, ceiling, uh, there's some uh, blockades up in there and it's virtually impossible. I'm not going to say it's possible, but it's virtually impossible to, uh, to escape this facility. All right, that was our Kayla Chote reporting. To read more about McMillan's previous arrest and his criminal history, you can head to our website, 12newsnow.com.